Today is July the 2nd. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. Take a moment and quiet yourself. Take a deep breath. Welcome God's presence and say, come Holy Spirit. Today's reading is from the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 31, and our passage is one that tells a historical story that's filled with chaos and trouble. It tells graphically about the death of Saul, his sons, and his armor bearer, so if this feels like too intense of a passage to consider this morning, go ahead and move to the end for a moment of worship. The Philistines pressed hard after Saul and his sons, and they killed his sons, Jonathan, Abinadab, and Malkishua. The fighting grew fierce around Saul, and when the archers overtook him, they wounded him critically. Saul said to his armor bearer, Draw your sword and run me through, for these uncircumcised fellows will come and run me through and abuse me. But his armor bearer was terrified and would not do it. So Saul took his own sword and fell on it. When the armor bearer saw that Saul was dead, he too fell on his sword and died with him. So Saul and his three sons and his armor bearer and all his men died together that same day. Today's reading is troubling. It tells about the tragic demise of Saul and his sons at the hands of the Philistines. Saul, who was facing imminent capture and who feared dishonor, chose to end his own life rather than endure the enemy's brutality. Do you know anyone who might feel at the end of their rope? or who might be experiencing shame? If you do, end your time of prayer now and instead reach out to them. Reach out to the person you know who might be feeling vulnerable. Otherwise, take a moment now to intercede for those you know who might be facing a desperate situation. Saul had been the first king of Israel, who then demonstrated a pattern of pride and disobedience, selfishness and ego, and the more he chose against the ways of God, the more he spun out of control, becoming vain and angry and violent. Over and over he turned his back on God. His is a story of the vector of sin. How sin and selfishness and pride over time draw us away from becoming the person God made us to be. Listen to the story again and ask God to help you understand the story of Saul.
The Philistines pressed hard after Saul and his sons, and they killed his sons, Jonathan, Abinadab, and Malkishua. The fighting grew fierce around Saul, and when the archers overtook him, they wounded him critically. Saul said to his armor bearer, Draw your sword and run me through, for these uncircumcised fellows will come and run me through and abuse me. But his armor bearer was terrified and would not do it. So Saul took his own sword and fell on it. When the armor bearer saw that Saul was dead, he too fell on his sword and died with him. So Saul and his three sons and his armor bearer and all his men died together that same day. Sometimes these stories in scripture are disorienting. Why, we ask, does the Bible include such heavy, real, painful texts? Well, I think it's because they're true to life. The Bible and Christian faith describe things as they are. It's not afraid of or in denial about reality, and reality includes some really rough things. This is why the interruption of the world's reality through Jesus Christ is such good news. He gives us a different vector, a different way. And while our way is real and often difficult, Christ is with us. No matter the shame or despair, God is with you, and he loves you. As we end our time together, ask God to show you more about who he has made you to be. And if you do happen to find yourself in despair today, or feeling vulnerable, please reach out to a friend, a safe person, a pastor because you are loved. You're not alone. Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought me in safety to this new day. Preserve me with your mighty power, that I may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity. And in all I do, direct me to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Brings the dead to the light, who gives a hope to the desperate ones, who tears away the night and draws the orphan to his arms. You make the weak and strong, you make the broken whole again, you give the prodigal. A welcome home that never ends This is the gospel This is your kingdom breaking in This is the gospel This is our been narrative Kings
kingdom breaking in this is the gospel this is our inheritance this is the gospel this is your kingdom breaking in this is the gospel this is our been This is your kingdom breaking in. 